I have cleared much of this area up so I can build a barrier. It just makes me feel a little safer. And I do think I build, I have enough materials for a storage. Yes. And you can find sticks mostly under trees and stuff, so. Wow, you made a chest. Now you can put all the stuff you've collected in there and go and collect even more stuff. You know, Azu, there's something I've always wondered. What exactly has happened to this world? They say that the light was stolen from us by a really bad man ever since it's been all anyone could do just to survive. Nobody cares about anyone but themselves and they never help anyone else out. Anyways, I think it's super boring to live like that. Don't you think it'd be fun if we could rebuild this city and everyone could live together? I feel like if you're around, Anything can happen. We should do everything we can to make this town a great place to live. But we'll need loads and loads of materials to do that. That's why I asked you to make a chest. Alright, so it's agreed. We're going to build the biggest, bestest city in the whole wide world. I'll have to think about what we need to build and you build it. Hmm, you are going to help me, aren't you, Azu? Aren't you? That's incredible. It's going to be a lot of work to turn this place into a huge city, isn't it? Isn't there anything I can do to help? Like, maybe I could build something. That would be pretty helpful, wouldn't it? But if I'm going to build things, I'm going to need a room to work in. Just like the one in this picture. Also, can you build me a room like the one I've drawn, please, pretty please? It would seem like your it would seem like your example has awoken within young Pippa the will to build. Obtained the picture. Wait, you got more? Oh, ah, I know a straw door. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. 48 squares of earth. Need a bonfire. The workstation chest. Oh, the chest is okay. This hill should do fine. I think I collected a lot. Don't you think so? Uh, door. Oh, what do you know? I have that. Cool. There we go. All done. Cool. Stonemason's workshop. Hooray, you built the workroom I asked for. Thanks, Azu. It's just like the one in the picture. I'm going to I'm going to use my workroom to build all sorts of stuff. I'll put it in the chest at the end of the day so you can take a look at all the amazing things I made. Coarse cloth. Thanks again for the workroom, Azu. Now we can make everything we need to build the city. But it's not going to be much of a city with just the two of us living here. The truth is, when I was on my way here, I saw a suspicious looking man lurking around nearby. He looked like a bit of a weirdo, so I waited until he went away and ran straight here. But maybe if we asked him to come and live with us, he might lend a hand in rebuilding the city? 
He was on the other side of the mountains the last time I saw him. Go and find him, Azu, and get him to join us. Make good use of your compass, my child. It will be of great use to you in finding that which you seek. Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep. Find that funny man. In in the dark. Oh look, the slimes. I've seen those before. Whoa, what's this? Oh, read. There's an old worn signpost here with the words, My Pledge, emblazoned at the top. There's a lot of writing underneath. Would you like to read it? Um, sure. How many years have passed since the vile, wicked dragon lord enshrouded our realm in darkness? Monsters roam the land unchecked, and my dear home, the city of Cantlin, hath finally fallen. <gasps> is this is this who I'm rescuing? Twas but a matter of months after being robbed of the power to create, did we begin to lose our culture? Yeah, for so long, dude. The most dear and precious power for granted that without it we are undone. I resolved the travel lands of Alephgard take note what has befallen mankind. I intend to collate the records of my journey into a book which I shall title A Passage to Tentagel. I invite all who read this pledge to follow in my footsteps and seek out my story. May the goddess watch over thee in all thine adventures. Sir Reginald Augustus. Brigade of Guards. But I see the bonfire. Ooh, water. I'm guessing water is probably a um, instant kill. Whoa. The bonfire is burning. It looks like it was freshly stoked. Some something must have been. Oh, I just destroyed it too. I got some of these. I'll just collect those as I go. Oh, what are you? You are aggressive. Gap. 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 There we go. First Chimera feather. Oh, okay. Oh, we got to keep pressing forward. Um. Oh, you noticed me, huh? I shall. I shall be winner. Ooh, food. Food. Oh. There's a house here. It's broken. Builds a room. Cool. These ancient, ancient books are so difficult to read. Deciphering the canceling chronicle might take much longer than I originally thought. The handwriting is so bad that Azu cannot summon up the will to read anymore. Oh. Okay. Ooh. These little outposts would be useful, I suppose. So what the heck is that? Oh. <laughs> funny. So funny. Little bat-like creatures. They don't seem so bad. I'll just stay out of their way unless I need their parts whatever it is what hello anybody there <gasps> I shall take your torch bye bye I'm just kidding free at last I cannot thank you enough young man wahaha 
but tell me exactly who exactly are you? I'm sure I remember such a funny looking face. Oh. <coughs> what? You say you're building a town near here? By my bushy beard, that is wonderful news. Let me help. Let me join your city and help to rebuild it. Hmm. What are you pulling that face for? You look like you just swallowed an insect. Well, you may make whatever strange face you like. I'll find my way to your town, whether you like it or not. <laughs> I am Rolo, the proud owner of that most venerable of books, the Cantlin Chronicle. I assure you that it and I will prove invaluable to this new city of yours. Now lead the way! Uh, what is this over here? What is this? Something to recall later, I suppose. Grapple, grapple, grapple. Gonna eat a bunch of these. Think I can make it? Ah, heck, I'm not by myself, so. Because really the only thing to worry about I think are those snake bird things. And we're not too far. I see more berries. Yay! We actually have made it before night. Plop. Okay. <clears throat> my word, just look at this place. By my bristly brows, this town is positively brimming with life. Why, well, I do believe that the Candlin Chronicle describes this very place, its perfect location to bring the legendary city of Candlin back to life. Oh ho, my mention of the legendary town piques your interest, doesn't it? The Counseling Chronicle is an invaluable volume of ancient knowledge passed down in my family over countless generations. It is many hundreds of years old and its pages will tell of mankind's hapless history and the lost art of creation and construction. Deciphering this ancient text could reveal secrets vital to the restoration of this once great city. Our meeting is no more coincidence, as I assure you we are destined to rebuild this magnificent town together. Yay, you found someone to join our town! What's that? You think, you think he seems a bit shady? You might be right. That's why I avoided him in the first place. When I first saw him, he was giggling to himself and stroking his enormous, this enormous book. But he's got a beard. He, he must be pretty dependable, right? <laughs> and he must be really clever too. I mean, he's got such a big bushy beard after all. But anyway, now that we found, <laughs> uh, boy, the beard, <laughs> beard's attractive, I guess. Now that we found a new friend, we can all work together to make this the best city in the whole of Alephgard. Also my friend. <laughs> also my child. Also my friend. I do not mean to cast doubt on your claims, but was it truly you who constructed these buildings? If that were true, it would mean you had the power to build new things. A gift that mankind lost so long ago. Could it be that you are the builder of whom the Cantlin Chronicle speaks, the legendary figure blessed with the power of construction? Bah, of course not. If the builder had a face like that, I'd eat my own beard. Thanks. Y'all are buttheads. Oh yes, Azu, I nearly forgot. The path across the mountains between this town and the place where you and I first met was dreadfully treacherous, wasn't it? Oh? I actually just went around the mountain and found you. 
While the Cantlin Chronicle describes a special tool that can be crafted from the feathers of chimeras that dwell amid those mountains, our most convenient contravance that lets you travel at blinding speed be back at your base in the blink of an eye. Of course, if you were truly the builder of legend, I'm sure you would have no trouble creating this item and showing it to me. Azu, my child, you only need to lay your hands upon a new material to discern what items can be built from it. Cool. Maximum HP. That means I will die less sooner. Yay. So these are the mountains. Oh, there's a cave. I can't, okay. I hope there's nothing too spooky in here. Oh, shoot. Oh, thank you so kindly for, for, um, waiting. Ow. It's only a two. Monsters are defeated. Oh, okay. What was that? Um, Seed of Life. Oh, okay. I just realized my clothes are rags. Oh, wow. Oh, one of those things. Oh, you spout fire. How wonderful. We got to make a ladder. Um. Ugh! What the f- Go away! Actually, no, I need you. There we go. I need one more. I'm at the top of the mountains. Whoa. There's a tower over there. Whoa. What? The heck? Looks ominous indeed. Huh. Let's just kill more of these guys, I suppose. You're not annoying one bit, aren't you? But holy moly, there is a whole land on the other side of this. What? Is that a dragon? I'll probably head over there soon. Hey! That was cheap. Is there something down there? Maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, I guess I'll go. I'm already over the mountain. There's a... There's a pink flower. Whoa, it is a dragon. <gasps> Are they nocturnal? Oh dear. I'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just peer over here. Oh, it's really dark. I can't even see him now. Just the bubbles of his sleep. Oh man, they got this big arena for him. Let me see. Let me see. Look at you. Whoa. You have no wings though. Okay. Whoa. This music. I am so creeped out by this music. Gonna go over these mountains, or maybe just around. Okay, I gotta go build.
Hmm. Oh yeah, the tower. Ooh, there's a chest. Well, where'd I go? Camaro wing, build. Marvelous work. Goddess above. This is a Camaro wing. It's just as the can Cantlin Chronicle describes. Then there is no doubt about it. Within you dwells the long lost power of construction. You really are the builder. Ever since the light was lost to us and the realm plunged into darkness, the people of Alephgard have waited for this day to come. The day that benevolent Rubus would send the builder to save us. Azubachow! You've already said this. Azu, my friend, you and I have two vital tasks ahead of us. Firstly, we must complete the glorious restoration of the once great city of Kantlin. And secondly, we must unravel the mystery of what terrible tragedy brought the town to ruin. This place was once girdled with all about by once girdled all about by fearsome fortifications, tall turrets and towers to keep the monsters at bay. It is even said that a great golem once watched over the city, keeping all inside safe from harm. But those citadels and strongholds were completely obliterated, and nothing remains of Cantlin but ruins. How could such a wretched fate have come to pass? As a proud son of Cantlin, I, I plan to uncover the mystery of what befell my ill-starred ancestors no doubt within your powers and my book it is only a matter of time before the truth becomes clear we're all counting on you azu ha 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 i give you branches you know azu i've been starving lately i could eat my own head all of these built all of this building and venting is hungry work so i have been thinking if we had something to cook with, we could make all sorts of delicious, nutritious meals. What do you say? Can you think of something you could build to cook things on? If you could think of anything, put it in a room with a chest so that we can store the delicious dishes we can make. So yeah, make us a room to cook in. Gotta build a room first. Okay. The heck? There's a message written on the same post. The monsters always attack from this direction. We must build a wall here to defend the city. It looks like the message was written a long time ago. Okay. So, all the, uh, all the entrances are sealed up. What to do next? Make me a kitchen. Oh, we have, why don't we just build it right next to here? There we go. Nope, nope. Build a chest. There we go. Crude kitchen. <laughs> Blimey, you did it. You made me a place to cook. Now I'll be able to make all sorts of scrummy food. Thank you, Azu. And that chest is perfect. If I make anything really, really tasty, I'll put it in there so you can try a bit too. Well, well, well. By my bulbous belly, it seems we have a kitchen now. This creative power of yours is a wonderful thing. I wonder if your culinary skills are equally exemplary. What say you test them out and make me something to eat? What? Make it yourself? <laughs> you build a whole kitchen for Pippa, but you won't even make me a single measly meal. Ozzy, you wound me. I thought we were friends. By the way, I should mention that I saw some delicious looking orange mushrooms growing down by the water's edge. I'm sure you can make a terrific meal out of a fine ingredient like that. Three servings should do the trick. Do we have an agreement, friend? Ah, mushrooms. Hopefully they don't fall into the water. Make as many as possible. 
15. Oh. 